wellness quick tip. There's a myth out there that aerobic exercise helps to prevent cardiovascular disease. But the truth is that both high level aerobic and anaerobic athletes could just as easily have a heart attack as the other. Whether a person is a marathoner or a power lifter, their risk of heart attacks and disease has everything to do with their foundations of health. This includes the food that they put in their body, how much they sleep, and how they manage stress. For those of you who are unaware, aerobic means with oxygen, and anaerobic means without oxygen. While you obviously need oxygen to perform anaerobic exercise, your muscles do not receive enough oxygen to generate energy to maintain a high intensity exercise. Instead, the muscles utilize glycogen, which ultimately comes from carbohydrates. Activities that are short and intense are considered anaerobic, including sprinting and weight training. Anaerobic exercise also offers quite a few benefits. In fact, unless you are training for a specific event or activity that requires you to use your aerobic system, then it's probably not the best type of conditioning for you. Instead, consider doing anaerobic exercises, which will make your muscles stronger and help decrease body fat. Interval training is the best way to accomplish this, as well as weight training, and this applies to both men and women. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.